U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un pledged on Tuesday to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula while Washington committed to provide security guarantees for its old enemy. But a joint statement signed at the end of their historic summit in Singapore gave few details on how either goal would be achieved. President Trump committed to provide security guarantees to the DPRK and Chairman Kim Jong-un reaffirmed his firm and unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, said the statement. DPRK is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the formal name of North Korea. Trump said he expected the denuclearization process to start very, very quickly. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and North Korean officials would hold follow-up negotiations at the earliest possible date, the statement said. Political analysts said the summit had yielded only symbolic results and nothing tangible. It is unclear if further negotiations will lead to the end goal of denuclearization, said Anthony Ruggiero, senior fellow of Washington's Foundation for Defense of Democracies think tank. This looks like a restatement of where we left negotiations more than 10 years ago and not a major step forward. The document also made no mention of the international sanctions that have crippled North Korea's economy for pursuing its nuclear weapons program.